Hey there, everyone. Welcome into the Devils in Detail women's basketball postgame show. I'm Scotty Gange. He's Carson Field. We're in Key Arena in Seattle, Washington, as the Arizona State Sun Devils just took down the Arizona Wildcats by a final score of 76 to 47. Definitely seemed like everything came together for the Sun Devils last night in the big win. But now tonight, I don't know if maybe they ran out of gas or if maybe Stanford was just too much as they eventually beat them and knocked them out of the tournament. What was going either right for Stanford or wrong for ASU? So now let's look forward. They move ahead. They're facing Oregon State, Marie Gulich. Oh, yeah. It's a phenomenal team, ranked number 10 in the country. How do you slow them down? How do you stop them? So after the game, in the post-game press conference, Coach Charlie Turner-Thorne remarked that it's going to be a true grudge match. It's one and one on the season, so tomorrow is where everything's out on the table. Right. Throw all the cards out. It's going to be a really fantastic game. And so, Carson, we're going to go away from ASU and now more Stanford. If you're Stanford, what's the keys to winning tomorrow night and heading into the championship? Kiana Ibis, after the game in the post-game press conference, said that they really just wanted to jump ahead early and take control of the game, which they did. They did. But now, looking into the second quarter, Arizona actually outscored them. What was... What type of turnaround did they make this week? But where are you looking Arizona State seating wise? So that game will be here tomorrow night at 8.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. For one more time, I'm Scotty Gange. He's Carson Field here at Key Arena in Seattle, Washington. Thanks for joining us here on the Devils in Detail Women's Basketball Postgame Show.